going on everyone this is the mac roberts back again with another nba 2k21 my play builder video and today we're going to be taking a look at the best jalen green build now this build is a part of my nba draft lottery pick build series for 2021 the 2021 draft of course so if you're looking for the entire playlist check it out in the title card above now jalen green with the g league ignite was an explosive bucket and a three level scorer or even scoring machine type of player he got comparisons to Zach Levine coming out of UCLA, and I think those comps are pretty accurate. Green at this stage of the game, though, has more playmaking awareness in my opinion, but at UCLA, Levine was definitely a score first, second, and third guy. On the defensive end, Green is not a negative, but he can at times gamble for steals too often, but he did average 1.5 steals a game last season on 1.7 fouls, so it wasn't the worst part of his game. Where he will need to do some work is exactly where Levine did, and that is getting stronger and putting a little more weight on his frame, but not at the sacrifice of his explosiveness. Most sources have him listed between 6'5 and 6'6 and clocking in anywhere from 165 pounds to 186 pounds. Regardless of where he was, he'll probably need to get into the neighborhood of 190-200 to be effective as an acrobatic scorer on bigs like Gobert, Embiid, and Mitchell Robinson. This is going to be key because he has shown to purposefully avoid contact at times in the G League to create a more difficult layup. But I like his ceiling, as it's probably the highest of all the top 5 picks in my personal opinion, even though Cade Cunningham has the lower floor. So without further ado, let's get into the build. This is going to be shooting guard, hand in this doesn't matter, jersey number also doesn't matter, I just chose 4 because that's the number he wore when he was on the Ignite. For the pie chart, you're going to go with the more blue than green pie chart. And for the physical profile, you're going to go with the speed invert physical profile. Now for the attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to an 85. Your driving layup up to a 91. Your driving dunk up to an 81. Your driving dunk up to a 60. And your post look up to a 61. And that's going to give you 16 finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to bring your mid-range shot up to the max. Max out your three-point shot, bring your free throw up to an 84, and your post fade up to a 71, and that's going to give you 16 shooting badges. For playmaking, you're going to bring your pass accuracy up to a 71, and your ball handling up to the max, 80, and that's going to give you 10 playmaking badges. Lastly, for defense and rebounding, you're going to bring your primary defense up to a 71, your lateral quickness up to a 71, your steal up to a 74. Your offensive rebounding up to a 47. And you're going to spend the rest on defensive rebounding. And that's going to give you three defense and rebounding badges. So 16 finishing, 16 shooting, 10 playmaking, and three defense and rebounding badges. There's a total of 45 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with define. Height is going to be 6'5. Could go with 6'6 if you want to, but as you see with 6'6, a lot of his stats take a hit, and the only thing that really gains a boost is his rebounding and the standing dunk. So I'm gonna go with 6'5. And for the weight, I'm going to go with 180 pounds. Again, his weight is varied from multiple sources depending on who you ask. I just wanted to go with 180 pounds because of the speed and uh, acceleration boost. And for the wingspan, you're gonna go with 82.4 inches. So a 99 overall, you're gonna have a 90 close shot, a 95 driving layup, an 86 driving dunk, and a 65 standing dunk. For your shooting stats, you're going to have an 84 mid-range shot, an 82 three-point shot, and an 88 free throw. For your playmaking, you're going to have a 75 pass accuracy and an 84 ball handle. And for your defense and rebounding, you're going to have a 75 permanent defense and lateral quickness, a 78 steal, a 52 offensive rebound, and a 69 defensive rebound. Your physicals at 99 overall with the gym red badge are going to be 90 for speed and acceleration, 92 for vertical, and 53 for strength. For the takeover, I would realistically speaking, you can go with anyone actually. He's actually a really good ISO scorer. He's got the slashing ability and he's a pretty good spot up shooter. Eh, I would actually more so go with the slasher and shot creative takeover. But again, completely up to you. For me, I'm going to go with the shot creative takeover. And the build is complete and you have built a slasher, shades of Mitch Richmond, Bradley Beal, and Zach Levine. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're gonna put Acrobat on gold, Contact Finisher on gold, you're gonna put Fast Break Finisher on silver, Giant Slayer on silver, you're gonna put Pro Touch on silver, and Silver Finisher on gold, with Lob City Finisher on bronze. 
For your shooting badges, you're going to put Dead Eye on Silver, you're going to put Difficult Shots on Gold, Green Machine on Gold, Hot Zone Hunter on Gold, Range Extender on Gold, and Volume Shoot on Silver. For your playmaking badges, you're going to put Downhill on Gold, Handles for Days on Bronze, Space Creator on Gold, and Quick First Step on Gold. And for your defense and rebounding badges, you're going to put Pick Dodger on Bronze and Pickpocket on Silver. All right, everyone, this has been the best Jalen Green build. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall. And you'll also be kept up with everything we do in the channel. So you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests. So if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for next gen. Uh, I'm not doing current gen so much anymore, but I'll do it for a quest. So if you have a current gen build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below as well. Just say, hey, I want this build for current gen, and I'll try to make that for you. Last but not least, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.